But today I'm going to share how do you set up your OneNote for work. Okay, so this is focused on how do you be more productive using OneNote. Now, here right now, let me show you how to create a new notebook. So if you are new, you don't have any new notebook, right? So this is a PC version, okay? So let me click out here. Here, there are multiple notebooks you can create. I mean, as many notebooks as you want. I recreated one of these, yeah? So if you want to set this up for work, so I just call it work, right? Like this is my work notebook, okay? So I'm going to use this as a demo, already created it. If you don't know how to create this, just come over here, new, and then you can create if you have multiple account, like well, business account or personal, you can just use personal account and then basically type in whatever. So you work, you just put work, right? create, that's it, finish, All right? So when you first create it, you will come out something like this and then you will see a section where you can create as many sections as you want. So now before I show you how to create all this, let me, let's just wrap this off. Yeah. Now, usually what you do here in Word, we're going to set up a few key things. Now, so in work, usually you have things related to your past, yeah, or sometimes called plan, right? Now, besides tasks, you will have things like information, okay, things related to information. Usually these are the, the two main areas, yeah? Now, for me today, if those things are related to tasks, it will go in to my Microsoft to do. Now you're interested in learn how to set out your Microsoft to do to capture all your key tasks and your plan. Yeah. So just go and follow us on the channel and uh, there are multiple uh, videos on this Microsoft to do. If not, you can watch this video right now. Now, next thing is under info. Okay. You will have things like projects and uh, areas, okay, or I call key results areas, yeah, and then you will have uh, resources. So these are the, the key things that usually the, what I do for my work. So. Under projects, I mean, it's straightforward. If you have multiple projects, you can create a section for projects. Yeah. Then you have uh, areas, and then you will have these uh, resources. Now, this is basically follow this para method. Now, if you want to learn more about para method, just put a comment para in, I mean, in the comment area, and then I'll create another video on that. Key result areas are things like if you work in, uh, let's say, for example, to, if I work in the, because used to be a supply chain manager, right? Under my department, I may have uh, materials planning, I have purchasing, I will have warehouse. So you can break this into different KRA. One, this is another KRA number two, number three. So you have three areas, right? So these are your key results areas right now if you do not know what to split right just put one first then as you go on you can add on as many sections as you want and by all means you can later organize it so let me show you right now now when you come into here the work demo you automatically come out with a new section so now Assuming that you want to do your uh, planning right over here, okay? So let's say just create a, a new section call. I can just come over here, rename it, all right? So I just put in pass. So I can just dump all my tasks in here. Now, next section is simple. So I can just create, all right, accordingly. The 
projects. Right? Oops, so here, let me go and rename it. Okay, then I can create the uh, here, reels, and then another new section for resources. Okay, resources are things like, for example, you find this website is interesting. Okay, or this book is interesting, or you find a good quotes that you want to keep, or a tutorial, right? Like this tutorial, you want to keep it, you just go in here, and then inside these resources, you can have multiple page, yeah? So in this page, all you need is just type in here, let's say, for example, this uh, OneNote tutorial, okay? And then you just can uh, copy this YouTube link, and then you just paste your link right over here. Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. You can put in here and then you can put your notes, whatever notes you learned from this video. You can just type. Okay. So this is how you create the key sections, right? Section are like folders. So under task here, I can add as many page as I want. Okay, let me pull out, uh, let me go to task and pull out. Let's see, just go to insert here. You see there's a page template right over here. Uh, over here goes to my template. Let's say I want to do a weekly plan. So here then I can put in my weekly plan. Now you want to learn how to uh, make your own template. Okay, just go watch this video. Now, once you have this weekly plan template, now you can do your planning right over here. Yeah. So I'm not going to talk more about how to do this because you can just watch the video to show you. And it, it is a whole video on how to create your template and how to use this weekly plan. That is fully customized to your own needs. Okay. So when you come to tasks and everything, you will put it right over here. Now, one more section that I forget, right? Usually I will have another section called meetings, right? So this will capture all my meeting minutes. Yeah. Now, by the way, you see, you can just basically move it around and organize it. Okay. So same thing if you have like your template ready. Yeah. Uh, let's go here and see this is one that usually here. All right, so you can have your meeting minutes right over here. Okay, so you can just delete it. And usually once you have this meeting, you can put it from the template and then you can just change this to any names you want, right? So usually you will have like 2024, okay? And then what kind of well, like meeting? Right. So usually I like to put the date in front so that it's easy for me to find. And then right over here, you can put in who is attending, John or whatever, uh, which day. Okay. Oh, sorry. This is day. And I can just basically delete this. And can just put in here Friday and what topic and uh, what action. Okay. And uh, the notes. All right. So this is how you put in all your meetings yeah, in one place. And then you can add as many pages as you want. Yeah. By the way, this uh, OneNote canvas is like unlimited. You can just scroll and add information as you want. Yeah. Now, you don't like to use template or you just basically like to use a empty page. Some people like to just do a mind map, then they can put in here, then they can just draw all the key things. Yeah. To do. Then after that, um, to you, to me, it is totally up to you. Okay. 
one note which is good it sync to your phone or your tablet to the laptop okay anywhere you want so you will have all the information in your head 